take your brushes and elements from grayscale to great using the brush tool and clipping masks to add multiple colors. This video is being filmed in Photoshop Elements, but the instructions are exactly the same for Adobe Photoshop except where noted. Begin by opening the layered PSD file that's included in the download for this video, and then in the Layers panel, click on the Flowers layer to activate it. Now in the Layers panel, click on the Create a New Layer icon. In the menu bar, choose Layer, Create Clipping Mask, or you can use the shortcut Ctrl-Alt-G or Command-Option-G on a Mac to clip the layer to the Flowers layer. Then in the Layers panel, change the Blend Mode to Screen. We'll be painting the stems on a separate layer than the flowers and use Blend Modes to help blend the flowers into the background. The green I used for the stems works best with the Screen Blend Mode, while the painted layer for the flowers works best with the Hard Light Blend Mode but don't hesitate to play with the other blend modes to see what different effects you get. Let's go ahead and get the brush tool, and in the tool options, open the brush picker and choose the pastel medium tip brush from the dry media brushes. In Photoshop, click open the flyout menu and choose legacy brushes. Click OK in the dialog box. In the brush panel, open the dry media brushes folder and choose the pastel medium tip brush. Then set the size to 70 pixels, the opacity to 100%, and the mode to normal. In Photoshop, you'll also want to set the flow to 100% and the smoothing to 100%. Now click on the foreground color chip to open the color picker, and in the color picker, choose a green for the stems. I'm using hex code number AA CE5A. Then click OK. Let's zoom in by pressing Ctrl plus or Command plus on a Mac, and on the document, making sure you're on the blank clipped layer, click and drag with your brush to paint the stems. Now there's no need to be perfect. It's OK for some of the green to overlap the flowers. In the Layers panel, click on the Create a New Layer icon. Press Ctrl-Alt-G or Command-Option-G on a Mac to clip the layer to the flower and stem layers. And in the Layers panel, change the Blend Mode to Hard Light. Now in the Tool Options, set the brush size to 150 pixels. Click on the foreground color chip to open the color picker, and in the color picker, choose a yellow for the bottom flower. I'm using hex number FED92F. Then click OK. On the document, making sure you're on the blank clipped layer, click and drag with your brush to paint the bottom flower. Remember it's OK if some of the color bleeds onto the stems. Repeat the instructions painting the remaining two flowers on the same layer with different colors. Refer to the manual for detailed instructions. Now in the Layers panel, click on the visibility icons of the remaining layers to turn them on. You can now clip a photo to the photo mask layer. For a tutorial on how to do that, please refer to the manual. And make sure to save your document in an easy to find location. So that's how you paint elements with multiple colors using clipping masks. This has been Cindy Rogers with Digital Scrapper.